do a patch from scratch. The Morphogene's CV output is an envelope follower, giving us a control voltage that follows the amplitude of the output at any given time. Using maths, we can generate a gate stream from this CV and then use it to control various things inside of our patch. We can clock sequences and generally create additional CV that follows the rhythm of whatever material we're using in the Morphogene. I particularly like using this on drums. Let's check it out. So we have this drum break patched through the herb verb via the aux input of the Optimix. This will let me add additional voices to the Optimix channel inputs later on. Here it is dry and with a little cavernous space added. Now let's take the CV output and patch it to channel 3 of maths. The key here is going to be the sum. Let's adjust channel 3 so it's not too high amplitude, and turn down channel 2 to create a negative offset. So that it crosses 0 and goes positive with each drum hit. We'll patch the sum output to the channel 1 signal input. Turn rise all the way down. Put a dummy cable in channel 1's variable output to keep it out of the sum. And take the end of rise gate. We can see on the CV bus that this is playing a gate stream in time with the drum loop. I'm going to use it to clock the woggle bug the Tempe, and the X-Clock of the Rene. Let's use XCV for tilt. Depth random for absorb. Smooth random for decay. Now we have a little motion with the reverb in time with the drums. Let's add a bass line. Let's run the DPO through the Optimix here using the same derived gate stream to open it in time with the bass line. slow modulation to the shape parameter for maths. We'll take a divide by 4 channel from Tempe and use that for Renee's Y clock. A little modulation of pre delay. It's easy to start from a leading tempo, metronome, or so-called master clock to create rhythms in a modular synth, but it's by no means the only option. What do you like to do? Let us know in the comments. <laughs>